well. So I just shared the link for uh, global entrepreneurship. So then just check if there's something going on within your community you can host during that week for November. And then December is the end of year party. This is always like a really great way um, to just host something different than your typical fireside chat or workshop. Um, something that we do in Chicago that's really fun is uh, it's like a huge CPG restaurant um, industry in Chicago. And so we do a panel of three top food entrepreneurs. And then we do like an entire room of emerging food startups and everyone's sharing their food. And it's super fun and just kind of a, a different event format. Um, this year, we're infusing weed and uh, Food just because uh, like the medical marijuana like law just passed in January so that's kind of like a hot topic right now so we're gonna be doing like edibles and something I don't know along those lines so still figuring it out but just kind of a different way to attract a different audience um, and do a fun little format you know Shahar always uh, shows everyone off with his little beach by the front party. So feel free to get creative with whatever you and your city decide to do. Uh, then also we have um, medium articles. We, so a lot of directors were uh, reaching out asking, um, oh, does someone have a question? Okay. Um, so a lot of directors are reaching out wanting to post content on the Startup Grind Medium page. So we now have reopened submissions for that. And so, you know, that can be anything related to your business. If you think you have like a really cool topic that you'd love to talk about, um, you know, maybe you focus on marketing for startups and you want to do an article, feel free to send that to content at startupgrind.com um, as we're really looking for new articles um, to post up there and that's a great way to kind of promote yourself your business your chapter you know whatever topic you feel um, is interesting then also meetup integration so as a lot of you know um, we recently switched to meetup pro and so because there is a higher cost involved we shifted it so that just the larger classic chapters now have meetup accounts um, otherwise you'll have to create your own meetup account and so currently there is a bug within bevy and meetup and a, a lot of you guys have been reaching out about that so just stay tuned because by the end of the week that bug should be fixed so then everything will be integrated and updated um, also we've got the post event surveys which has been re-enabled on your dashboard for all future events um, and so you'll be able to then review um, you know the feedback that people are sending after your events um, on your dashboard do you guys know how to access that or should I kind of give you a run through can I get a show of hands if you guys want me to show you how to access it? No? You guys are, oh, one? Anyone? One? Okay. Well, Shay, I'll just show you afterwards since it's just only one of you asking for help. Um, but it's on the dashboard underneath forms and you'll see post event and if you click like the squiggly line, it then will show you all the feedback from events. Um, Another update that we've got going on with Bevy is location maps are now available on your event page, um, which is a feature that we didn't have before. Um, so Bevy is constantly, you know, coming out with new updates. I always recommend uh, signing up for their newsletter as they, um, you know, we're not the only customer that Bevy works with. So they're constantly sending out new updates and that's just a, an easy way to kind of stay up to date on what's going on there. Um, in regards to the cohort, we are in week six now. So shout out to um, you know a bunch of you who are on here right now who are a part of the cohort and a lot of um, you know the existing directors who have you know done a really great job with engaging and you know kind of helping out answer some of the questions um, for any new incoming directors. Then we've got director summit. Okay, who's excited for global? Yes. Okay. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait. 10 year anniversary. Um, we're doing it big. 
So accommodations are only for directors and co-directors. If you want to bring any of your teammates um, or additional like ambassadors or whatever, um, you're responsible then for getting their tickets and um, that paying for their accommodation or you know they're responsible for it on their own. I always recommend trying to find a sponsor. Um, that's something that we do in Chicago is um, you know we'll find a sponsor or we'll even put aside like ticket sales for a couple of months to then cover some of the costs for our team members to be flown out um, and just cover hotel, et cetera. Um, then I'm gonna share a link with you guys. If you have not registered yet for um, your accommodation, go ahead and do so. Um, that link is gonna take you to the hotel and bunk beds page. So far we have 69 directors registered um, and bunk beds are sold out. So there is a wait list for that. Um, so be sure to register as soon as you can in order to guarantee a spot. Okay. And then um, the next link I'm gonna share is just the general um, like home page. Hey, Gregory. Um, the hey, general home page uh, for um, for the director's retreat and for global in general. So on that link, um, recommend bookmarking it because then you will. Oh, I just sent it to. There we go. Okay. Um, so that has like all the information, FAQ, update, update on um, just like what the plan is. And it has like all the information pretty much for global. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Ford. Um, but the accommodation- Hey, I will tell you to call me. She on the call. Uh oh. So uh, the accommodations for that are between the 10th and the 14th of February. So the check-in is on the Monday, the checkout is on the uh, Friday, and we only have 40 rooms at the AC. So um, book that. Also, for anyone that's a part of the cohort, once you've graduated, that's when you'll receive the invitation to Global. Um, so even if you like click on the link and register, it won't go through until you've graduated. So just a heads up on that. Then also with the 10 year anniversary, we've got a really exciting uh, giveaways. So I'm gonna post that in the chat too. So pretty much it's 10 personal invites and that's with SG friends. That's to you know invite direct or to invite team members, um, ambassadors, that's something that you can use. The special discount code that could be given to say like VCs or you know previous speakers or someone within your network. Um, and then for the ticket giveaway campaign, that's to then use for your own marketing. Um, and you can, you know, use that as a raffle for an attendee or, you know, something of that nature. So a lot more freedom with that. Um, so on the cohort even. Yes, Sylvia. So, well, no, so Sylvia, it's only for the new um, chapter directors that are a part of the cohort. Um, once they pass that, then um, they'll be invited because pretty much like the end of the cohort is to get your first event up and running. Um, so that's kind of like the prereq for uh, cohort new directors. But since you're an existing director, you're fine there. Um, and that kind of sums it up. This was a really, really quick call today. Um, pretty much it's like, you know, kind of information that we've already discussed and have put on um, Slack. There's not a ton of new stuff besides, um, you know, just getting everything up to date with global. Does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns? Madeline. Yes, Robert, what's up? Oh, David. Hey, David, uh, what's this up? This is David. Yeah, sorry, I'm driving. Did you um, determine the venue for the director's uh, conference stuff? Because so, I'm not staying at the AC and I want to book close to wherever it is. But We're still uh, figuring it out. So because we have more directors this year, uh, Google uh -huh. isn't able to host us due to like some of their prereqs. Um, so we're still working on getting um, the event space finalized for Do you the know director. 
you know if it's going to be in San Francisco? Because if it's in San Francisco, that's really different than if it could be San Jose or, you know. Yeah, so if anywhere, it would be uh, nearby the airport in, in SF, or it would be um, in Redwood City at, like, Fox Forum. So we're still trying to find something within San Fran. Um, it just kind of where, you know, it's the back and forth of between okay. event spaces so, and whatnot. So, so it could be Redwood City or it could be San Fran, could, so yeah, I, I can't. Yeah. It could right, be Redwood City. But we would be providing um, transportation for a few of them. So we're, just stay tuned because we're, we're still working out all the final details of that. I'm sorry. Okay. I have a question. Um, so booking this hotel, which looks like a great deal for four nights or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I have, I have a cute few start grinders. Yeah. 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 I book this uh, Hold on. I'm having some audio issues. I, yeah, I, yeah it's like super oh. fuzzy. Let me try. Okay. Do you want to try that again? Yeah. I just want to details about canceling so if I get an opportunity to Airbnb or something with or just go with the other directors here in town it could you cancel can you cancel that's a good question um I will have to touch base with our team on what the cancellation policy is um and I'll get back to you on that because I'm not a hundred percent sure okay appreciate it yeah cancellation Okay. Anyone else have any questions? Nothing else. Okay. Anyone have any uh, humble brags they want to share? Uh, an event that they're scheduling that they're really excited about? Got a, a super awesome speaker? Maybe a, a tip on sponsorship or marketing you guys want to share? I, I actually have another question. This is David. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no worries. Is there a, a, a formal process for registering for um, regional conferences as a director? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me pull open the form. But there is a formal process for regional conferences. Okay. There we go. All right, the link is in the chat, the group chat. Thanks, Madeline. You got it. And I can send it to you separately if you need it. I know you're on your phone. All right, well, if there's hey, not Madeline, any- I just wanna say we had a great second event up here at uh, University of North Dakota. Awesome. Uh, our speaker hit all the technical points we wanted. We learned probably more about uh, UAS technology than most of us uh, ever thought possible. <laughs> it, it's good to see some of the things they're using it for, and especially a local company that's uh, working in 15 countries around the world today. That's awesome. How did you secure the speaker? Uh, he's actually based here, and he used to work at the Center for Innovation, and I've known him for about 25 years. So it was pretty easy just to stop by his office one day and find out when he was going to be in town because that's the big problem with trying to lock him down as he's traveling so much. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad and our you next speaker is a guy who customizes uh, speak, uh, not speakers, sneakers for Nike. He does oh. uh, do like a $5,000 pair of Nikes that are customized to a particular rapper. He's the guy who does the artwork on them. Oh, wow. So I bet you're going to have tons of students at that event. I think that's going to be a popular one with the students. Yeah. Awesome. Anyone else want to share? Um, I do have a quick I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. I'll wait. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, so this is Shay from Lansing, Michigan. Uh, we are hosting uh, Joe Johnson from Wade Nutrition. Uh, Joe is, is a fairly new entrepreneur, but they won big on Shark Tank last year um, in Lansing. So, uh, um, so Lansing is still an up, up and coming entrepreneurial space or ecosystem. Um, so having someone who has been a, a brand within um, coming to start Grand Lansing is, is a big deal. So we were hoping that we will have a good turnout. 
That's awesome. Super cool. Corey on the call is also in Michigan. You guys should connect if you guys are. Corey, actually, I, I just want to give other, a big uh, uh, shout out to uh, Corey. Uh, Corey is a new uh, director from Grand Rapids. He drove all the way from Grand Rapids to Lansing to, to meet. And be, uh, he was at our last Star Grind event in October. So um, so we are looking forward to actually going and, and be there at his first event um, uh, in November. So um, I love that. You guys, that's so awesome. You all need to take like a picture next time and post that on the channel. That's what we'll the SPM is all about. Corey, that's awesome. How far is the drive? It's pretty uh, far to me. A couple hours. It's only like uh, 45 minutes. Oh, that's not bad at all then. Okay. Not no, it was bad. very easy. And uh, Shay and his whole team were uh, like really hospitable, uh, really welcoming. It was a really great event. And uh, it was really cool to see um, like all the, the, everyone who attended was like really engaged and it was awesome. Thank that's you. so great. Cool. Thanks guys. Thanks for sharing. All right, Therese, go for it. Hi, everyone. I have a humble break and to talk about our Global Entrepreneurship Week um, double event. Um, I just launched my podcast for my business on yesterday, uh, Passion to Profits, and it's being featured on multiple podcast um, outlets. I got official email yesterday that I am on Spotify. So you can say Google or Theory or iTunes, ask for Passion to Profits. That's, That's awesome. my humble brag, yes, and then, um, awesome, yeah, because I had a lot of different inspiring entrepreneurs um, that asked me and inboxed me a lot of information, but sometimes they scared the conflicts and they can't make the event, so I'm using um, my business podcast as a way, as a tool to eventually draw them in to start coming to being in the room because that's my hashtag um, with all my events being in the room to get what you need is in the room not always on video or on um, social media so I'm using that as a tool to you know encourage them to come out even though they're not an official formulated business and I've got a lot of hits and rave reviews since I posted the flyer on Facebook and LinkedIn and Snapchat. <laughs> then um, November 20th, we are celebrating Global Entrepreneurship Week in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, that morning, we're doing a breakfast with Joy Stick. She is based out of Atlanta, but I met her at a conference I spoke at in Savannah. And she has this cool tool to help you with live streaming. So she's going to help with live streaming, help you create the content to live stream. So that's the technology piece that we're going to bring for breakfast. And then for lunch, um, I met another colleague. He, um, I call her the, uh, the senior mature um, entrepreneur. She is a guru with government contracting, especially construction. But she has an initiative to help start up to earn $1 million in one year. She has this amazing blueprint. So she's gonna be at the lunch session with us uh, for Global Entrepreneurship Week. So we're doing a double event, a double header on November the 20th in Jacksonville, Florida. Killing it, crushing it, love it. All right, guys. Well, everyone seems to be doing an awesome job and um, you know, there's nothing else that I've got for you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to Forbes, but why don't we uh, finish up this call with uh, a picture? So if everyone can put their cameras on, give me a really awesome smile. And then let's see if I can get this screenshot app to work because we all know, I know I did. I not savvy. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, cheese. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Thank you, everyone, for making today's call. I hope you guys all have um, a really, you know, awesome time and a uh, great rest of your month. I can't believe it's already November. Um, but, yeah, thank you, everyone, for attending, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, wait, David, about attending a regional conference. Oh, so when it comes to that, you you just reach out to the director who's hosting a regional conference, and then they'll be able to get you registered with free tickets. All right.
Well, bye everyone. Thanks, Maddie. Bye, Atlas. Bye. Bye, Marin. Thank you, Maddie. Bye. 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 Bye, Henry, Yvonne, Kazra. Wait, Maddie, real quick, I got a question. What's up? Um, if, <clears throat> when we have speakers join Global, how do we go about um, submitting speakers or maybe if a speaker wants to join that? Or is that something you guys just reach out to them? Does that make sense?